Hey, what's up everybody, it's me Jordan, and I'm back with another inking video. In this series I like to do just a little bit of a quick preview of some of the drawings I'm working on and show you guys a little bit of the inking process and kind of talk about what I'm doing and just give you guys a bit of a sneak peek into some of the drawings that I'm working on and that I'll be colouring soon. First up is Nicholas Brown from the anime Gangster. I haven't seen this show yet, but it was a request I got a while back, so I went ahead and drew him. I thought he was a pretty cool looking character. I liked the design of him, so I thought it'd be a fun one to draw. I'm using my Copic drawing pen for the line work. I've done a review on this pen a while back, so if you want to check that out, it's one of my previous videos. But I've really gotten used to this pen and it's pretty much my favourite pen for inking now. I still use my Copic multi-liners as well, but this is definitely my go-to pen now. I get lots of people asking me just for general tips when it comes to inking, and I find it really hard to give advice about inking because I think it's something that just comes down to practice and doing it lots, and your hand just gets kind of steadier the more you practice. So my main advice is to just do lots of line work, try and be a little bit loose with it, you don't want to be getting so tense on each line that it just becomes a struggle. Just be carefree with it and it'll kind of build up over time. Also try experimenting with different thicknesses of the lines. You can get some really cool effects and add a lot more power to your line work by doing that. Next up we have Natsu from Fairy Tale. I've had this requested a lot and this was a really fun line work to do. Now this one's a good example of what I was talking about before about adding power to your line work. It's got a good variety of thick lines and thin lines and it just makes the line work look a lot more interesting and gives a bit of life to it as well. When I'm lining the hair, I like to add kind of spikes here and there and add a few extra kind of loose strands of hair. It helps give it that little bit of extra detail and movement to the hair. In anime, it takes a long time to animate it, I guess, so they have to kind of take shortcuts when it comes to designing the character and especially with the hair because you can't just have lots of strands that are constantly moving, it just takes too long. So when I do drawings of fan arts, I generally try and add a little bit more extra detail to it, especially in the hair. I just think it makes a big difference and it doesn't really take much effort to do. So many other artists do fan arts, so I think if you want your drawing to stand out, you kind of just have to add a little bit extra to it and kind of go the extra mile. Now I'm lining his eyes and I made sure to still keep some visible pen strokes. I think it gives more life to it than if it's just solid black lining around the eyes. I really like the art style from Fairy Tale. I used to read the manga and I think I got up to date so I stopped reading it. But that was ages ago so I'm sure there's heaps more out now. So maybe I'll get back into it when I have some free time. Or maybe I'll just watch the anime. I'm not really sure, I just remember the manga had really good artwork. Let me know what you guys think of the anime. I've seen a couple of episodes here and there and it seemed pretty good, but sometimes with really long series like Bleach and Naruto and those kind of shows, there's quite a few filler episodes and they just kind of draw it out a little bit longer than it needs to be and it can kind of get really tiring watching those kind of shows. I don't really know if Fairy Tale is like that or not, so let me know what you guys think, if it's worth watching or if I should just stick with the manga. I've been thinking of some general advice that I can give you guys for inking and something that used to help me a couple of years ago I guess when I was less comfortable with line work was I would actually develop the pencil sketch a lot more so I'd put a lot more time into that and get it to a stage where all I had to do was line over where the pencil sketch already was. So this kind of takes away any of the guesswork or kind of freehand line work that you might have to do if you've got a really rough pencil sketch. The trade-off for this is it's going to take a lot more time, so it's something that can be helpful if you're not really 100% comfortable with line work, but as you get better and get more comfortable with it, you'll probably want to tone that down so you don't waste too much time on the pencil sketch, because at the end of the day you're not going to see that anymore, it's all about the line work. I still try and keep my pencil sketch really neat so I can see exactly what I've got to do, but if I see some things that I think need to be changed or if I want to add some details in, Often I'll just go for it straight away, I won't even sketch it on there. It just depends how confident you are. Previously I've spent a lot of time just stuffing around with the pencil sketch and putting in way too much time. But now that I feel a little bit more comfortable with the line work, I try not to do that so much. And that's definitely saved me a lot of time. It's just something that takes a lot of practice, 
the more you do, the better you'll get and you'll eventually get quicker. My old drawings used to take me so long just because I tried to do it like as best as I could, but I was just slow because my skill level wasn't that high, I guess. And the more that I've practiced, I've just kind of sped up on everything. I'm still reasonably slow, but I've found over the past year since I've started doing more videos and making myself do more drawings, I've really sped up the whole process. So to all my fellow slow artists out there, <laughs> don't be harsh on yourself. Just keep practicing and you'll find that you're going to speed up with time. It's like everything, you've got to get the techniques down and then speed's going to come after that. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you've got any specific inking questions, let me know in the comments and I might be able to answer them in the next inking video. And I'll catch you guys next week in next week's drawing video.